This video made possible by Excess Power. Alright, before I do this test, let's go ahead and take the top off this thing and look at the guts. See what it's all about. Might look a little old and dusty inside of here, but at least it's not crusty. I've had this amp for over 10 years and I ran the crap out of it for many years before I took it out and replaced it with something new. Now you saw the last two Amp Test Tuesday videos where I chose 500 watt amps and you saw the results of that. So let's put this Rockford Fosgate T500.2 up to the test. What do you think? Is it going to make its power or what? Welcome to Amp Test Tuesday. Alright, today's the day. I'm getting ready to do a major renovation to my test bench. As you might notice, I had 12 volt bank, 14 volt bank, and a 16 volt bank so I could test three different types of amps if I needed to. But to be honest, I always use the 14 volt side. I rarely use the 12 volt side and I almost never use the 16 volt side. It just isn't big enough to support an amp that needs 16 volts. 14.5 volts on the 14 volt batteries is pretty much what you'll get if you're driving a car. So I decided to go ahead and change it up a little bit. The 12 volt batteries are coming out. I'm gonna put those in my toy hauler, yeah. Some XP 3000s. And the 16 volt batteries, well I took those out before I did the last test on those 500 watt amps from the flea market. So right now, there's six 14 volt batteries and three 12 volt batteries. 12 volts are coming out, four more 14 volt batteries are going in, so I should have a total of 10 when I'm all done. Before I go ripping all that apart, let's see how this one does. Now this T500.2 rode in that Tahoe back there for Years. It never gave me any problems ever. It was a great amp and now it's in the boneyard, but it still works Let's go ahead and throw it up on the amp dyno now The reason I'm testing this now and not after I upgrade the bench Is because I just tested those amps that I picked up over at the flea market the gravity 500 and the Phoenix gold 500 So if I'm gonna test this I'm gonna use the exact same setup I used on those amps just to give a little perspective I mean actually hopefully it does its power this is one of my favorite series of amp ever right here. And I just want to know that I was getting the power I was claiming that I had at the time. So let's see. Rockford Fosgate T500.2. Bridged. I'll test it at 2 ohms because it's a 1 ohm stable amp. Let's see how it does. All right, those first two tests are really hard on the amp. It's like a 10 second sine wave and it just pulls the life out of it. So let's go on to something that will mimic music just a little bit better, dynamic RMS, and see how this thing does in a more musical environment like your car.
Man, I can't believe my eyes. But then again, that's fucking Rockford for you. Damn. The Rockford Fosgate T500, old school style, more than passed. I mean, you basically got a 1,000 watt amp and paid for a 500 watt amp. Probably the most underrated amp I've ever tested. All right, I'm curious how this thing will do at four ohms. Now this amp is bridged, so a four ohm load is really a two ohm load. All right, here we go. Amazing. All right, that was a fun test. Now it's time to pull my bench part and make it way better because I love doing this. So check back, Amp Test Tuesday. I'm gonna do this more often. I know everybody loves it. And uh, we just wanna get to the bottom of it. We don't wanna know if we got the power we paid for.